So it's our first official day of project since we got the bus cleared out. And uh, we're gonna start with the floors. I'm here with Jeremy and Drew Barrymore. And we're here getting into this gig. The whole bus has a really ugly vinyl trim. We ripped out a lot of it. Everything just looks a lot more updated and fresh. And uh, yeah, so before we start laying all this stuff for the floor, we have um, this foam product that we had a little mishap with earlier. In the sleeves. Uh-oh. Oh. Right, look at that ooze. <laughs> it's not so fast. I know, but it's coming up so fast. Oh. Not gonna get into too much detail, right, Jeremy? Read instruction. Wear gloves. Wear gloves. <laughs> Wear gloves. Anyway, that was fun and interesting. So basically, let me show you. I, I know it looks awful. It looks like such a mess. The floors had like lots of cracks and a couple of holes and things from like where the bus seats were bolted in there, I guess. But you let this dry and then just like scrape off the top and that will keep all of your... <laughs> that will keep all of your gaps and cracks nice and full. Show you our next step when we get to that point. So while he finishes up doing that, I'll be taking this knife and slicing off the top of the foam so that it's nice and level with the floor. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. No, I'm just kidding. We're just laying down some of this insulation at this point. This is what we're using. Easy cut um, insulation. You just cut it with scissors, cut it to size. We're literally using liquid nails to put it down. We would would have liked to have gotten the floor completely done today. Of course, we would have loved to have gotten the entire fucking bus done today. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're having fun and taking our time, definitely, and just enjoying the experience today. So yeah, we're just gonna finish this and then be back in the morning. <clears throat> I just really think it's hysterical how I planned on dressing really cute for this whole thing. The reality is I'm just wearing like rags. Today we're going to lay our plywood. Getting serious. And then hopefully we'll be able to get our floor, our vinyl floors installed as well in a day. So here's what our hard work looks like. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I waited so my whole uh, my whole adult life to lay these floors. <laughs> God, look at my mom's shoes and my mom's socks. <laughs> and my, my non-shaped like <laughs> God, I'm so hot. Hi. Got it. The width of our bus is about seven feet and our boards are about eight feet, so we're just whacking off like a foot of it and then gluing that shit down. Wish us luck, cross your fingers, say a prayer. Have you ever operated a saw before, baby? 
Many times. Oh, many times. Same. Just on uh, small children, though. <laughs> oh my god. I should be wearing my goggles. Yeah, where's your goggles? <laughs> okay. That's better. That's better. I'm a little off. Fuck yeah. Damn. So the next phase is going to be just taking the exact same piece and bringing it down here. I'm gonna let my battery charge here for a little while and we'll check back in once we've made some more progress with these wooden planks. So little update, we've been working all goddamn day with a couple of little dogs, but uh, we have almost all of our particle board down. As you can see, like the entire place is pretty much looking brand new. We uh, have all of these rocks just from our yard. We you know live like in the woods basically. So, and now we just have this one piece that we cut out. It's like a glove. This was the most complicated piece for sure. So we're using this giant liquid nails as the adhesive to keep the flooring to the insulation. And we've basically just been like slathering it on because we want it to stay. <laughs> we want it to stay. <laughs> There's like so many carpenters watching this and just weeping Scowling. at what we're doing. <laughs> but you know, we're the type of people that have to just make our own mistakes. Yeah. Some wires over here makes it a little tricky. But um, in she goes. Okay, we got the entry stairs all wooded up. We have all these big ass rocks leaning on everything to keep the glue down. And yeah, all of the subfloor is finished. Today should be the most fun day of the installation because we get to lay the vinyls. So we got um, a bunch of different shades of vinyls. What do we get? Two, four. 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 We got four different shades of vinyls to give sort of like a weather, distressed, mixed, matched sort of appearance. Salvaged. Honestly, we would have loved to have actually reclaimed a whole bunch of wood and built a really cool, unique floor, but we're not trying to weigh down the bus yeah. with like a bunch of real wood as really of right now. It's just a weight issue. Yeah. Mm. One mini meltdown and one outfit change later, because I'm insane. <laughs> we haven't even got started yet. <laughs> we haven't even got out the door. <laughs> I need this. Oh. <laughs> Check us out. Damn, it looks so good. All right, so because there's a little bit of unevenness in our uh, plywood sheets it's because we didn't take out all all the tracking and every little screw and everything so I'm gonna go around and put in a screw in every little corner where there is a little bit of um, discrepancy here <laughs> it's just funny <laughs> it's a little wobbly start <laughs> particle board stiff Trying out some of these panels, seeing how they look. Ooh, yes. Hell yeah. Loving this mix and match theme. Love her. So quickly, we realized that you're supposed to start these things at the left of <laughs> side of the room and then like work your way down. And just to secure these a bit more since we're in a moving vehicle, we're going to secure this whole first line with some screws just to make sure there's no wobbling. And it died. <laughs> and it died. Ta-da! We have one full strip completed. And honey, she's kind of clutch. So sweet. 
surprise, it's the next day. So that took a lot longer than expected, but that's okay. We loved every second of it. As you can see, well, sorry, there's actually too much shit everywhere for you to see the floors. We'll show you in a moment. But uh, we're just wrapping up by covering our wheel wells. So basically we just used a jigsaw to cut these panels into shape. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're just using liquid nails to secure them on. This will be the pedestal for our bathtub. Right. So while we have these, um, just kind of hanging out with rocks, getting nice and firm, firm. You have a little something on your mustache. Got it. So we decided to just throw in with this video, this back wall here, we're going to do a really simple peel and stick wood vinyl. It is a different material. This is like super like stickers almost, but mm -hmm. still has a really nice quality and, and uh, density, right? Thickness. Yeah. But yeah, we're just after doing all, that wall. After doing all the flooring, like this should be a piece of cake. So once we have that completed, we'll show you the grand reveal. Ta-da! So this is the final result of our woodworking. <laughs> Basically, they all started popping off as we were applying them. So we ended up applying Sidewinder clear crystal uh, fiber cement. Which is not what you would usually use, we just improvised. <laughs> but we don't give a shit. At this point, we're gonna start figuring out the actual floor plan. Um, that tub is gonna get a makeover. Stay tuned for that. But we're using that to give us a guideline of our bathroom is gonna be. So basically, this will all be a kitchen. There's gonna be a wall here, and then a bathroom will be on the other side of it. So today we're going to build the wall. It's going to be a three foot wide wall mm -hmm. and we're constructing it with two by fours. So we're using three main two by fours as the central construct and then go from there. These are four two by fours. They're eight feet long. Those will act as the center supports for the wall. This piece will be used as a support beam in the center of the wall so we can hang a vanity. And then we have these big monsters here and these will be the actual walls. Let's get started, babe. I'm excited. We're building a three foot wall. So we built this three foot beam to put down here and then we'll match it with one up here. There's these steel beams that run down the length of the bus. And there's one like right at three feet and one right at the beginning. So that's where we're gonna secure those into the top. This is just like some, some like shiny white particle board, which is like not metal or anything. So we have to secure those into those metal beams in there. And yeah, I don't know, like it's really hard to describe these things when you're not a carpenter. You just have to have to watch us do it. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Whoa! <laughs> Did I go straight through the damn car? <laughs> Hold on to this for dear life and you can install my seatbelt into that. <laughs> Mmm, 
So make sure that you have the correct metal drill bit if you're gonna be drilling through metal. So <laughs> we had to pause and go take a little trip. We, it was kind of dark by the time we got back, but we finished um, putting up these support beams. They're super sturdy. And now we're just hanging the center support. We're putting one uh, right on this side and also on flush to this, uh, to these support beams. So that way later on, if we want to hang something there, we can. And then we'll also put one over here. So yeah, that's where we're at. For these, all we need to do is screw these uh, planks in with what, like two two inch screws or three inch screws? Use the big ones. Okay. Yeah. So all you need so. for these are like three inch screws. Yeah. So now that these are done, we are gonna create the walls using this really thin, like, I guess you could call like it- Cork particle board. Cork particle board. <laughs> I don't know. It's like what goes on the back of your <laughs> Ikea entertainment. It's like kind of like that, but a little more durable. So anyway, <laughs> just cut it out. Of, cut it out of that, that particle board next to the donut, the Dunkin' Donuts cup. Oh, God, I hate this because it makes my hair look so thin. <laughs> okay, so we just finished the framework for our second wall. But what um, we're realizing is because we're going to be putting our uh, wardrobe slash armor all right here, we need to... <laughs> Thanks, Vanna White back there. <laughs> we have to put a backing on it on the wardrobe before we put the walls on. So we're basically turning this video into a floor laying slash floor plan, like the beginning of our floor plan. Slash carpentry. Slash carpentry work video. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna start working on the wardrobe now. So, and then I think we'll probably cut this first video. We the messed people up. People be like, um, no, it's this, this board is warped. Yeah. Goddamn warped board. Surprise, it's the next day. <laughs> so pretty much this entire experience, Jeremy has been handling all of the wood cutting and using the saws and stuff. I'm just not like that. I'm just not that person. And yesterday, I proved myself to be entirely correct. I went to go cut like some of these pieces and I was doing a really good job for a while and then all of a sudden, I lifted the saw and the wire went underneath it and it like popped and exploded, basically. <laughs> Not funny, it was really scary. So we had to stop what we were doing and go to the hardware store. And by the time we were back, it was dark and we didn't really do anything else. Well, actually, I guess we, we yeah, did we hang. Whole... We did put up this entire back paneling for the wardrobe. And we're installing these pieces so that we can hang stuff on either side later on. So. Today we are just finishing the side walls and we'll make the shelves and install the, okay. yes, yeah, so we'll install the rack. Oh, yeah. And yeah, create a, a full armoire. So it's obviously nighttime now. Jeremy <laughs> had to do some work, some unexpected work. And I just put up our little shelf. Um, 
what do you call these? These little shelf friends, shelf <laughs> buddies, to help keep up our <laughs> shelves. And then, so basically, we are just putting our shelves on, screwing them down to the shelf buddies, and then installing a support beam underneath each shelf. And we have to do that from the bottom up. So yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. And then who knows if we'll get these walls done. We're, you know, feeling it. Feeling it. <laughs> It's so huge. It's huge. This is this bigger than a, than a store-bought armoire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so all we need are walls, and she's good. I'm not sure if I feel like doing the walls in the dark, baby. No, that's such precision work. Yeah. Not idea. Yeah. Well, once again, <laughs> like these projects are just taking so freaking long. Everything takes two days. Everything just takes two days. For it. Yeah. So yeah. awesome. Looks so legit with our little uh, cross support beams. Little cross support beams underneath and our little thing. It's Ugh. I know like I just wanna say that like I know looking at something like this looks like seems like really complex, but it's really, really not at all. It's really just about buying a forty dollar cutter and cutting wood and literally screwing it all together and you're just like creating really cool custom stuff. So it's really, it looks intimidating, but it's it's really not. Right, babe? Shit. We used uh, Roxanne's Roxanne. t-shirt as our armoire model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the morning and we didn't do anything else <laughs> than we showed you last night. So here it is in the daytime. Looks Babouche, solid as a rock, right, baby? Oh my God, yeah. You can do, <laughs> do pull-ups from this uh, garment bar. Contraption. Here. So we just take this um, hardwood board. It's called the Yuga board, just in case I haven't mentioned that yet. And we use this brown pattern paper to. Uh, lay out and cut our dimensions of the wall and then we just trace it onto the board and then use a we're using the um, circle saw right yeah. and we're using a circle saw to cut it out and then you screw it into the freaking wall and that's it so here we go See, this is the reality of it all. Oh. <laughs> we made these dimensions, we cut them, and now it doesn't fit. And it's just like, round two. Okay, round two. Round two. I guess I could center this so you can actually see what we're fucking doing. like a glove. This is the line that we almost cut it to because it took too many gummies. This is a whole piece of wood. Okay, so we just got these, just got these um, interior walls hung. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. right. Roxanne up here. So now we're just hanging up a clothing rack, I guess. Just like a dowel rod. And that will be like the full structure. Later on, we'll um, do
do some custom sliding doors. It's not gonna be until a little later on when we get to like the decorating and you know, all of that. But yeah, um, this pretty much like solidifies the floor plan. So. so we're really excited right now. And here's the armoire all complete. I mean, not complete, but here's the bones. Bedroom, wardrobe. We'll build a vanity for right here. And then a big ass medicine cabinet with a sink. On the other side of the wall will be our kitchen. And then opposite of that will be our living room. Do you love your house? I love it. So much better than we expected. Yeah, I know. We're really happy with how this is coming together in a very organic way. We didn't necessarily have a floor plan, just kind of a general idea of where we wanted the placement of things, which we ended up changing. And this is the final floor plan, and it's amazing. sit down and not be filthy. The entrance of the bus we decided to hold off until a little later down the road. Like obviously we're doing so much construction and coming in and out and stomping all over like these steps. It makes zero sense to install these beautiful brand new tiles that we just purchased. They're like white. <laughs> yeah, like white. It just feels weird to do it right now. So I just laid them out, you know, for vis uh, visual effects, just to give you an idea of what it'll look like. And I'll link exactly where we got the tiles in the description box below. I know it's annoying to just be like, oh, it was so easy, it was so easy, it was so easy, but really, like a toddler could have done it. Like not the cutting and sawing part, but so we got four by eight um, plywood planks and they all fit this way. So basically we just had to shave off the same length going all the way down. Right. And then from there, it was just about cutting out the wheel wells and cutting out this, our little heater, heater box back here. And like a corner here, a corner there. And that was literally it. It was super easy. The hardest part was like our house is like up on a mountain basically. So we have to like climb up a bunch of stairs to get to it. And that's where everything is plugged in where we saw it. So <laughs> the hardest part is like, oh God, if we like have to shave off a little corner or if we like needed to go another half an inch or whatever, we have to go up and down a whole bunch of stairs. Like, other than that, out. it's really not that critical. It's not that critical to install floors. Yeah, the flooring is a three layer process with an insulation followed by plywood sheets followed by the wood itself. And we just used liquid nails to put down the insulation in the plywood and then we realized we needed to screw down the plywood in every corner right. just to kind of make things nice and you know, in perfect surfaces. So right. wherever the wood was a little bowed, we just kind of like secured Screwed it. it down. Yeah. We did want to use like recycled wood, but honestly, the weight of it all is so not necessary and realistically we're trying to do this in a timely manner and going and finding wood, sanding, sanding it, polishing it, installing it as flooring. It all consistent. It's just, yeah. We had never installed a floor before and it was like really just ridiculous to think yeah. about doing something like that. So if we had started a year ago, maybe, <laughs> yeah. like perhaps the collecting a year ago. Ago. just mixed a bunch of different colored uh, vinyl flooring from Lowe's and it looks like reclaimed wood so we love the way it turned out. Definitely gives that effect. We don't remember the names of the wood right now but I'll Thank put them right know. here. As far as the configuration of the floor plan and building out walls and whatnot we were gonna use antique furniture and really eclectic things. Interesting finds. Yeah. Antiques but, and things. Yeah. 
like for an armoire, for instance, and just some other elements. But once we started building, we realized that every inch is really critical. And we really need something really big and max out every last freaking inch in the entire space. So what we're realizing is we're going to end up going down like more of a custom road and now that we've installed a wall or two in the floors we're realizing it's really not that big of a deal luckily for us we live right by a lumber yard like it's five or ten minutes away so yeah it's gonna be really fun to finish out the build but um as you can see we've created a wardrobe and we've created a wall that will cut off um our kitchen from the other half of the bus which will be like our bedroom and bathroom area so that was pretty much like all that we had to do to create a floor plan and now we can just kind of focus on like the fun parts like framing out storage for the couch framing out the bed and creating kitchen. yeah and framing out the kitchen and yeah. creating like custom cabinets i feel like now we're at like the go line, right you know like now we're gonna have to start framework and canvas right now it's like the fun part as far as filming this whole journey goes what <laughs> what i've come to realize is that i don't really know if we're making tutorials here or if we're just like showing you what's going on like please don't rely on us at this point for like critical like building uh information because like we're we're not perfect and like especially filming this right now i don't really know it's just kind of like a mishmash of like us trying to help and show you and also like figuring it out on our own so bear with us want to do a little price breakdown of every single thing that we bought um and hopefully this is the most expensive part of the project. We purchased a skill saw for $40, a jigsaw for $30, we got 100 square feet of insulation for $90, we got one can of big gap filler for $7, duct tape for $8, we got one and a quarter inch screws for $5, silicone sealant, we got three of them, uh, and together they were $15, five pieces of four by eight quarter inch particle board for $150, six things of liquid nails for $30, the softwares for $25, floors for $300 total, we got six boxes, and we got two boxes of vinyl tiles for the front steps, and that was $53. So that totals $753 for the floors. I've never made floors before. That's not so bad. I think like also considering like we're purchased, this is like our home that we've purchased. It's like all an investment. 120 square feet of brand new insulated floors for $700 is a win. If we That's needed <laughs> new floors in a house, that would have been a friggin' Right. Like tens of thousands of dollars. So for our walls and wardrobe, we got a box of three inch screws for five dollars, box of quarter inch screws for five dollars, eight two by fours for sixty four dollars, five cubic boards for sixty dollars, two two by eights, which were thirty dollars. We used one four by eight plywood, but we got a dowel rod that was seven dollars, and a bunch of L brackets that was sixty dollars. So the total for that was two hundred and seventy two dollars. So if you add our floor costs and our walls and wardrobe costs together, it was just over a thousand dollars. Happy for a credit card. <laughs> We're really like looking at this build and this purchase as like building a home for us. And one day if we get sick of driving in, we really want to just like be settled somewhere. We plan on like buying a plot of land and then parking our bus on it and just building a garden around it and kind of going from there. Right. So these expenses really are like crazy investments. They're not just us being frivolous. Like we're not just like dumping money into like an art project or something like this. It's right. really like our home. There are much cheaper routes than like what we're facing, we're realizing. Right. But yeah, you could fill this space with a bunch of like cool thrift store finds that you customize and paint and create a cool unique space and just put a bunch of plants in there and you have like an totally. Instagrammable very cool um, band dwelling or whatever. If you're gonna be a weekender or make small trips and not really like condensing your entire life into yeah. a band, then yeah, you totally would have went that route because right. it's really fun too. Yeah. It's Carmex. <laughs> Carmex do you do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> It's an old 90s beauty secret. <laughs> like.